Hi everybody, it's Jason Everett, one of the trainers down here at Business Refuel, and on today's video, what I'm gonna show you is how to become insanely productive in 30 seconds or less. Now, how can we do it in 30 seconds? That might be a pretty big promise, but it's because we're gonna talk about how do you create a mindset shift in how you look at being productive. Because see, often people think it's about being busy, but I wanna help you to understand it's not about the busy, it's about measurable productivity. And so I was reading in this recent study right here, it said according to the study that 25% of people's work day is spent sending and receiving emails. Yuck, 25%, right? And that the average worker sends and receives over 190 email messages a day. Now you might be thinking, Jason, 190, I wish I had handle 400 emails a day. Or maybe you think 190 is really high. Well, no matter what, if you're the type of person that handles that much email and that's constantly flowing through you, what I know about you as a, as a leader in business is that you are a how guy or a how gal. And what I mean by that is you know how to do everything. That's why people are coming to you and they want so many answers and so many responses from you is that you're the type of person that needs to know all the how to do things. And so if you want to make this shift from being you know, extremely overwhelmed to being insanely productive is you've got to make a shift from being the how person to get this, being the why person. Meaning you gotta understand not all of the how-tos, in fact, you wanna hire people who can do the how-tos, but you wanna understand why things should be done. And in fact, I was watching a video the other day with a gentleman named Mark Burnett. You might know Mark Burnett or be at least familiar with the name. He's the guy who produces shows like Survivor, The Apprentice, Shark Tank, The Voice, The Sing-Off. There's a ton of shows. He actually did the, uh, the Bible series on TV and also the new uh, movie that's coming out called Son of God. And what blew me away is I'm watching this interview and I just thought, how can he manage all of these different shows and productions and they're so different and so varied? And I thought, you know why? Because he doesn't know how to do all those shows. He's the executive producer. I mean, he understands why those shows should be produced, but he hires the right people to make sure that those shows get handled. So he's not overseeing if they gotta get a helicopter budget for one of those shows. He doesn't sign off on all that paperwork, right? He might know a little bit about it, but he doesn't know all the details and all the how-tos. They're not emailing him for every single thing. He's got layers and layers of people underneath him. Now, you might be thinking, Jason, I don't have layers and layers, so how does this apply to me? Because I don't have 48 people working underneath me or hundreds of people working underneath me. So I'm gonna give you a very practical tip that'll go back and help address what we talked about in terms of just emails by themselves and how do you get out of being the how person and becoming more of the why person. So I was reading a book, um, it's one of my favorite books, you probably heard me talk about it before. It's Timothy Ferris's Four Hour Work Week. And he talks about in order to be more, become more productive, what he says is, he said stop checking your email every time it dings, buzzes, or alarms at you. In fact, he says on your phone, on your computer, turn off all the buzzes, turn off the alarms, turn off all the automatic send receive. So the only time your email comes in is when you hit that send receive button and you check it yourself. And what he says, and this is a pretty big challenge, I don't know that I've gone down to this, but he says, check it twice a day. He says, set up an autoresponder that first thing in the morning, if somebody was to email you, it says, hey, I check my email twice a day because I'm in meetings all day long, once at 10 and once at four. Please leave me a detailed message about what you need and then I will very quickly respond to you at either 10 o'clock or 4 p.m. Now, I personally haven't gone down to two. I've probably gone down to four, maybe six times a day that I actually check my email. But my challenge to you is, how do you go from the 100 times that you check it a day maybe down to 10 times, maybe down to five times, or maybe like he says in the book, down to two times. And I think that's gonna help you to not only to be able to become more productive, but not put yourself in a position to be the constant how person. Because I'll tell you what, if you can take your emails down to even just five times a day that you check them, that means that you've made a total mental shift from being a how person to being a why person. And by taking the why and making that the biggest focus and using the how and making sure that other people are helping address those concerns. So in the, in the comment section below, I want you to put some information. I want you to tell me what are your favorite tips for productivity? What are some of the ways that you've leveraged yourself and you've been able to make a, a greater opportunity for you to become insanely more productive in 30 seconds or le less? That's it for me, Jason Ever for this week. I will talk with you next week. Have a great one.